welcome back ladies and gentlemen the first installment of georgia state roleplay so this is actually a server that i own and i have been helping develop with a few other people as you can see we actually just got a radar blip on this guy speed limit is 55 through uh Polito boulevard and then or great ocean highways excuse me so we're gonna go ahead so for those of you that don't know what my server is, it's LSPDFR Online. So um, LSPDFR Online allows you to interact with AI and other um, PEDs that are already put inside the game. So instead of you know having to do LSPDFR by yourself, you now have a community of people that there could be 30, 40 people on a server at a time, and you can now you know patrol with each other. So, uh, I'll talk you guys through this in a second. I just want to get this guy pulled over really quick. So, um, what I was about to say is, uh, my server is a Georgia State-based roleplay server where we have Chattanooga PD, which is, yes, in Tennessee, but I have them in Polito because this is my this is my hometown's PD, and I, I adore my hometown PD. That's where I want to work. It's where I see my future being after I, you know, get out of the military. But, um... And I'll show you guys the fleet I have that I was going to show you guys all the vehicles that we have in this pack for Chattanooga PD up here. But we have Georgia State uh, Patrol coming into the server. I have someone modeling their skins and their vehicles. I have Atlanta PD coming in, which we have partners actually modeling the Atlanta PD. Uh, 5.0 Designs is actually uh, modeling their own vehicles to be able to use in the server. We're, we're growing pretty quick. The server Discord has been up for maybe a week, and we're at 30. 35 people right now which is really incredible and I, i'm really excited for the support you know it's been thanks to a lot of uh facebook posts it's been thanks to a lot of you know people's hard work of inviting so it's just one of those things but the main reason i i made this video was to inform people you know that do watch my channel that there i do have we have a new server that we can enjoy because for a time we didn't have a server as uh frrp closed uh and uh tal who is an amazing guy his uh youtube channel is mega m-e-g-a he's the one that actually does scripting for uh lspdfr online and he's the creator for it and uh he's been very gracious in you know over time showing us how it works and giving us the ability to use it so i i really do appreciate him as a person and him you know giving us the advantage and the ability to pursue this in a game which is what a lot of us want to pursue in real life as being a law enforcement officer I'm a law enforcement officer in the military. I really don't count that as law enforcement. I count that more as, you know, security. But it is what it is. Um, as far as uh, the game itself goes, the delete key actually toggles on and off the ability to pull people over. So if you hit your delete key, I'm not going to do it right now because it'll release him. But if I were to hit my delete key in the bottom left-hand corner, right above the map, you guys would see... Uh, it would say vehicle pullover enabled or vehicle pullover disabled or if I was pulling someone over and I hit delete after I wrote them a ticket it would say vehicle released and that means you know they're free to go again uh, what we're actually going to do though is we're going to search up his information which you do with shift U, which will bring up uh, the MDT radio the traffic control extra services tow truck and ambulance so to it's pretty self-explanatory extra services is if you arrest someone for you know whatever and they'll send a county unit or whatever other unit they want over here to pick them up so the mdt radio what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and run his plate through dispatch so uh dispatch uh i don't even know what my unit number is right now so dispatch 801 i'm gonna be on a 10 11 on oh we don't have roads normally so in the bottom left where you guys see date time current aop and peacetime normally are my little cheat sheets there so i know my road so dispatch we're going to be on Polito boulevard nearest postal is going to be 1047 adjacent to 1048 no 1032 needed at this time so anyway so after that we're going to be like dispatch can you run a tag i'm going to have you out of george or out of tennessee it's going to be 87 mike victor papa 729 dispatch is gonna be like okay and i'm just doing this for myself because it just sounds a lot better than me just hitting enter you know <laughs> but you're gonna hit enter and in the bottom left lspd database is gonna pull up their flag uh their tag the registered owner the registered year flags and um it's just gonna go through that thing so flags biggest thing with flags is it's going to say none in yellow or it's going to give you a flag like a warrant or a felony in red 
So if they are, or not a felony, a warrant for like stuff like that, like a felony or something like that, that, you know, they have a warrant for, it's going to pop up in red. So what you could do now is the guy's information that just popped up is going to automatically be put in here. So Lamont Villa, and we're going to do a license plate run. So he actually has a code five, uh, warrant. He's got three citations, which aren't too bad, but you know, now we got to do a high risk traffic stop. So how to do this is you're just going to hit F and then not get back in your car and it's going to open your door. I'm going to go ahead and stop traffic. So here's one of the best things about this is shift U brings back up this menu. You can go down to traffic control and you can stop the traffic bottom left hand corner by my uh, map. There's going to be this red ring that pops up. So that car will stop as soon as it hits the outside of that red ring right there. So it makes it a lot easier because AI, normally, if you're out of your car and say I was walking to his car, like right here, which you shouldn't do, walk on the side anyways. It's more of a, a this side thing when you're on the road like this. But that's beside the point. Oh, okay. Okay. Now he's testing it. But anyways, so we're going to go ahead and do... God dang it. We're going to go ahead and do a high-risk traffic stop. What you're going to do is you're going to pull out your gun, hit E at the, pa uh, the driver. He's going to get out and put his hands up, or he will run. It's one of the two. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, walk up to him, hit E. He's going to stand up, then go back down. Oh, God. Oh, okay. He wants to run, so we're going to pull our tase out. You sick fuck. All right, no. sir. Yeah, and sometimes they're buggy. Sometimes they want to fight. That's with all LSPDFR online. Um, okay, I do not know. All right, sir. So we're going to... Okay, sir. We're just going to tase him real quick, see if that helps. Okay, so now do you want to cooperate? Oh my lord, this is taking way longer than I thought it would. There we go! So, it's buggy. We're still working on the bugs, so you'll have to apologize for that. Um, that was really bad. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to show that. But, um, anyways, the E button when they're outside of their vehicle is how to interact with the ped. Shift E is how to interact with someone if you were like if you were on a normal traffic stop and you were walking up to get their information you just put your face right there or wherever you're more comfortable you're gonna look at the car hit shift and E at the same time or hold shift and hit E it's either one and it'll pull up the same menu just with more options of like talking to them getting their information which I'll show you guys in a little bit but we're gonna go ahead and search him which you're gonna do is shift G so you're gonna walk up to him face him hold shift hit G and it's going to start a search. And the findings is going to be in the bottom left-hand corner above the map, just like everything else is. So he's got a ball of tin foil in red, which probably means he's got drugs on him. And the way he got out of the car, he was kind of slouched, kind of talking, a little weird. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask him to do a horizontal uh, gaze. So we're going to do this weird animation. So suspect's eyes are smooth while moving pen. Huh. All right. Well, let's breathalyze him. 0 0.10. That is... 0 0.02 over uh, the limit. So, 0 0.08 is the legal limit for anyone over 21. So, in the back of his trunk, he only had a phone charger, camera. So, normally what I'll do is I don't have them stand right there. I put them in the back of my patrol car, but I'm afraid I won't be able to get them back out. Uh, and then I'll call uh, corrections to come pick them up. Which, I'm 95% sure they don't do that in real life. <laughs> but I'm not sure, so I won't speak on it. But, uh, umbrella tinfoil. Okay. So. Well, that sounds harsh. But anyways, alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call uh, corrections. So, shift U, again, extra services, corrections, taxi, mechanics. So, here's the biggest thing what I like to do with my guys is if they blow below the legal limit like 0 0.07 or something and you say they can't drive i ask my guys to call them a taxi it'll it'll uh do the same thing that a uh corrections truck would do but it would just pull up and instead of taking them to jail it would come up and um you know take them away so on the map you guys can see in the lower left hand corner that blinking blue so this is a really cool thing where it'll actually show you where your corrections officer is getting to you. So this is an AI. This isn't actually a PD officer. I don't have anyone on the server with me right now since I'm training or showing you guys the uh, the abilities of the server because I feel like that would be counterintuitive. You can see he just made that turn. 
He's gonna be behind this old looking car right there. We will be reskinning this other vehicle. It looks really cheap, we know, but we will actually be getting it a new uh, skin and model for corrections. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit E on the guy again. So a lot of people ask, you can back out the menu and you're like, how do I get him off of me? In the menu, you can type T, which p uh, pulls this up, slash grab, and it'll ungrab him. So it's a little bit easier if you forget how to do something or you don't know how to. So E, while he's standing outside his vehicle, interactions, we're going to grab him. We're going to go ahead, and you don't need to get too close to the car about right there, and then hit seat pad. And what he's going to do is he's going to go sit into the back of the patrol car. This guy's going to go code three way in the hell out of here, and he will despawn. So now all we have to do, and... What I'm actually trying to get instituted into the server is a little bit more paperwork for arrests and towing so that it's more realistic. But of course, you know, for me, I like hyper-realism and not everyone likes that, so I'm kind of trying to keep my um, avenue of approach with that. But anyways, shift U, you're going to go to this, you're going to go to tow, dispatch tow truck. It's going to pop up in the lower left-hand corner. I kind of cheat on this because I don't wait for the tow truck to get here, but it says ETA 2 mic. So what I'm going to do is order tow truck to this position. It says tow truck destination set, select tow to be... Uh, select car to be towed that's in front of us and then clear tow tow vehicle so what that does is I cheated because sometimes the tow truck will come through here at like 90 miles an hour and it's a glitch that all LSPDFR onlines have and it will blow through all the traffic hit your vehicle hit you take five minutes to pick up the vehicle and then leave but if you do what I did and you wait for the prompts in the bottom left hand corner to pop every time you click something and you hit tow vehicle it'll automatically set the towed vehicle onto the tow and then the tow will disappear, so you don't have to wait 20 minutes and get run over by a tow vehicle. So now, since we're done with our traffic stop, a lot of people will pull back out, find someone that they want, and do this. And people are like, why is, why am I not able to pull him over? It's because you already initiated a traffic stop. You have to hit delete again in the bottom left, pull over mode disabled, vehicle released. Hit it again. It's enabled again. So, a lot of people don't understand how that works, but that is is how it works. I hate these hazard lights. I need to get them removed from the server. But, I like the Tahoe. It's such a sexy beast. Like, look at it. Look at it! I have a really nice uh, license plate reader and radar on my bottom right uh, that my developer was kind enough to help me get. Uh, it runs, I can have it going back and front, but normally I only run front because half the time I can't multitask, and you guys know this. Um, and then the, uh, left-hand side, right beside the license, or the, um, radar, there's a, uh, license plate reader. So anytime I pull someone over, if I forget, or I, uh, can't see their license plate, but I'm in the, uh, I'm in that menu, the shift U menu for the MDT, I don't have to spend 20 years looking. I can just uh, type it in from the plate reader. I got it was going kind of fast. But um, the server has a lot of things. Uh, LSPDFR, let me rephrase that. LSPDFR has a lot of things where, you know, we have uh, PEDs that are DUI. We have shootings. Uh, some PEDs will get out of their car and shoot at you if you pull them over. It's kind of funny, actually, but um, not in real life. But, you know... It's funny for the server, at least. So what I like to do is I like to come back here. I like to sit right here. And what I'll do is... This is this area right here is 55. Most of these vehicles are driving 65 or 70. The fastest I caught someone was that guy that we just pulled over, which was 72. This was his locked speed, so I don't have to, you know, wonder what it was if I'm writing my report or whatever. Uh, it'll continue to scan, though, any other vehicle that passes, but it has the locked fastest speed right here. So how you reset that is you're going to hit reset, and it'll reset everything. But what's nice is it'll lock the fastest uh, car's uh, license right here, or uh, plate right here as well. So that guy was going 50, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump this up to 65, because that last guy we got was uh, going about 72, but... Control X is how to pull this menu up, and normally what'll happen is it'll look like this at the beginning when you guys get on, or actually it won't even have this on, um, but you're going to hit on, it's going to have all these on, X mid is how to turn uh, one side off, so you can run back radar only, front and back, or uh, just front, which is normally what I do, so mode, same, means you're facing this way, 
opposite means other way. So it's pretty pretty self-explanatory. But um, we're going to go ahead and reset that. We're going to set the limit at 65. Speed limit around here is pretty much 55 to 60. Um, but I really don't get anyone for anything over that. But um, our server, again, does have specialty areas where, you know, we have realistic. Uh, when you do uh, code uh, code turns uh, in the uh, patrol vehicles. I don't want to say knob because it's not really a knob. It's more like a switch. But when you go to code two to three, it'll make that noise in the vehicle. So a lot of people, you know, we it's just small details that we try to attain to. We'll go ahead and do it. Wasn't that fast. Also, I play on keyboard, so it's not really smooth looking, but there's other people that play on, um, on controller, and their acceleration and vehicle movements are a lot smoother. Man, I really messed up. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and shift Y is how to mimic, by the way, if it automatically doesn't pull up, and since no one's behind me, what we're gonna do is and the mimic thing is kind of funky but you're just gonna have to get used to it like i've been doing this for ages so i try to do my best to not look that dumb at it so we're gonna go ahead and pull him in right here actually a little bit further down so i have a little bit room Dispatch Unit 801. I'm going to be on a 1011 on Dolzo Avenue, adjacent to Polito Boulevard. We're going to be in the parking lot of 1046 between, or in the parking lot between 1046 and 1030. No 1032 needed at this time. So, you know, when we have active dispatch, we just like to do that stuff. It's a little bit more professional when the, uh, you know, the other guys do it. I'm just trying to squirt shit out real quick so that we can get on with it. But, um, anyways, as you guys see in the bottom left, again, since I stopped him and he was the fast, or since he was the fastest car, when my beep went off, it's, it saved his speed in the bottom right, and it saved his plate reader. So, a lot of people don't know this, but when you hit shift U, sometimes if you do the run plate, this won't be here. And if this isn't here, the plate reader in the bottom right, it's like, how do you get that? So, you're gonna have to exit out of that, you're gonna have to hit V, you're gonna have to, like, reposition yourself, and then even then sometimes this black bar is over the license plate so it's pretty hard to see so thankfully you know our, our server is pretty good at keeping that as a thing but anyways so we're gonna go ahead and run his plate please don't have any warrants i want to show a normal interaction all right harry vega so no flags sweet one citation no flags sweet so this will be a normal traffic stop probably citation for speeding probably not i don't know so why am i what the hell okay there you go um so we're going to go ahead and walk up to him. How you doing today, sir? Officer Trigg with the CPD. The reason I stopped you is for your excessive speed in a 55 zone. You were going, I clocked you at 68. Uh, any reason for that? So, you know, you can role play it out. Or if it's a sieve, you'll have to. So we're going to say hi, which is weird. I don't know why he says Kiflon, but it is what it is. We're going to ask him for his driver's license. So uh, Moore's Mutual uh insurance i observed heavy breathing from the driver his insurance is valid and he's not wearing a seatbelt so speed seatbelt and he's breathing heavy so probably in game this is probably a dui most likely because heavy breathing normally means that they're they're dui so we're gonna go ahead and return the information i'm gonna go ahead and ask him if he has been drinking uh have you had anything to drink today just a few okay uh do you mind if i search your vehicle you'll have to pass on that okay so do you know why I stopped you? And that's why our car Dave. And then in the top left, they uh, respond to your questions. Bottom left is you asking. Top left is the words that they, they say back. So when I asked him if he knows why I stopped him, he said because you have nothing better to do, which is actually something I've heard before. <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of funny. So for the sake of the video, I don't have any reason to pull him out of the vehicle. He denied a car search. I don't have any probable cause to go into his vehicle. So... In real life, I would just give him a ticket and be on his way. 
depending if you know i couldn't smell alcohol but this is a game i can't smell alcohol i can't see eye you know red eyes i can't i can't do any of my dui stuff i can only do <clears throat> what the game tells me that it, i see so um what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna order him out of the vehicle so 20 bucks what's gonna happen is he's gonna get out of the vehicle and he's gonna look like he's stumbling yeah what so when uh they're like that that's mostly dui in game when they're doing this this is either dui or um uh drug related so we're gonna go ahead and ask if he wants to do a breathalyzer 0 0.10 so he is over the legal limit so we're gonna go ahead and handcuff him which everything that i've just done is totally illegal and <laughs> definitely not law abiding because i had no probable cause to get him out of the vehicle because this is a game and i couldn't tell but anyways so we're gonna go ahead and search him shift g is how to search holy fuck he had a pistol okay well that could have been been actually really bad but anyways um shift g is how you search the vehicles you can search the trunk the passenger and the driver's side you cannot search the um the uh hood so shift g is how to search any part of any vehicle you just got to walk up to it hold shift and hit g and bottom left, again, it'll pop up on what he has. So, used needle, ball of tinfoil. Ball of tinfoil is not in red, and the used needle is not in red, so I don't know if it's drugs. It's yellow for a reason. Um, red is normally for, you know, uh, bad things. Like, the pistol was in red, which probably means he doesn't have it, uh, something for it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tow his vehicle really quick. Okay, there's the tow truck. We're going to order tow truck, select the vehicle, and then clear the tow. And again, it's just way easier, and it keeps the tow truck from having to come in here, plow through my vehicle, plow through this guy, and kill him. So what we're going to do is interactions, a grab. We're going to walk out here to the side of the street. I'm going to call him his corrections uh, transport. So shift U, go down to extra, go to corrections, hit enter. And then, oh, see, perfect. So I don't have the menu to let go of him right now. So T slash grab. And you'll let go. So he's right there. He's going to pull up code three. Jump out like a boss. And they parked so far away. I don't know why. But anyways, you're going to grab him. You're going to run him over here. You're going to be like, hey, so you did the crime you are doing the time. And then AI will honk at you if you don't move fast enough. It's kind of funny to me. Yeah, uh, get in the car. Um... <laughs> but anyways so actually now i'm gonna go show you guys the cpd collection of vehicles that i have currently on the server again we do not have state uh georgia state vehicles on the server yet they're still being skinned um atlanta pd's vehicles they're still being skinned and fulton sheriff's department they're still being skinned as well uh chattanooga police department i outsourced to a really good development team uh, of one man and he did it in three days for 14 vehicles so I'm actually extremely excited at the fact that he got through these vehicles so quickly. But then again, it is just a white vehicle with police and Chattanooga on the side. <laughs> but it, he did an amazing job, as you guys can tell. And I really do appreciate his work, as well as uh, the shout-out to my 5.0 design team. Not my 5.0. Let me rephrase that. The 5.0 design team. Uh, they have been very, very, very good at being um there for us our server uh it's two people so far it's uh our atlanta pd head and his uh share uh sergeant and his atlanta pd and they have been scanning or skinning their own vehicles for free for use um they've been skinning fulton sheriff's department and they've just been really good guys to us and they've actually helped a lot uh ideas our server stuff like that so uh the server in no way shape or form is just mine it's definitely a community effort and i really do appreciate everyone's you know willingness and want to um you know be there throughout the whole thing and again i just said like the 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 server's only been up two days like this server's only been up two days and it's not even open yet but my community or our community let me rephrase that again it's not mine it's ours our community is 35 people already and the discord's only been up a week so i really do want to thank you know the people in the discord that have been making it possible that we push through we find new avenues we continually you know find new people and i you know it's one of those things where i really 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 like being around these guys and it really helps but anyway so uh control x 
The beep's still on, but you guys will notice if another car passes me at 70 miles an hour, it will not beep. So what you have to do is every time it beeps and you pull someone over, you're going to have to reset. So it resets the beep and it resets everything. But anyways, so we're going to go ahead and go over to the PD. So Polito PD is kind of the Chattanooga area for my department. And I kind of made it that way so GSP, the Fulton Sheriff's Department in Atlanta, can have the rest of the, uh, the place. Are you kidding me? They despawned. All my vehicles despawned. <laughs> I had every parking spot filled with vehicles. Well, that's depressing. Um, alright, well, you guys know what this vehicle looks like, so I guess what I can do is I can just go through and spawn vehicles for you guys, since that is seems like the best way to do this. So, the Chattanooga Police Department in real life has three vehicles from what I've seen, and those three vehicles are an Interceptor, a Ford SUV Interceptor, and the Crown Vic. This is what my guys are going to start out in. It's the training Vic, the normal, you know, shebang vehicle. This is actually, the light bar is a little bit different, but this is actually pretty much what CPD vehicles look like. They're very, very basic. Also, that rear uh, window light, that's not there in real life either. And the light bar is way too modern for the CPD uh, in real life. It, it's just a flat bar. But, um... And they have two uh, lights in the front on the Ford grill. If I can actually... I hate that. The up key for my thing is the... Uh... I'm trying to... No. Also, CPD does not have push bars in our department at all. All right, well, that kind of looks a little bit better, like our, um, eh, kind of looks like our department's vehicles. Again, just without the uh, back window light for our Crown Vicks, but this is kind of the base model for the Crown Vic that you'd see if you went through Chattanooga. And our, our CPD is amazing. I love it. It's just awesome. I, I'm hype as hell to become a part of it. Anyway, so here's the Tahoe. These are all decked out. These are not how they're supposed to be at the CPD uh, Sanctuary if you were to drive through Chattanooga again. They don't have push bars. They have a no-pursuit law. There's a lot of things that I think Chattanooga needs to fix, but I, again, am only 22, and I already know everything in quotation marks, so I'm going to reserve those comments for later. But anyways, um, again, as you guys can see, the skins are, are freaking remarkable. Freaking remarkable. I love it. I freaking love it. The Tahoe has to be one of the toughest looking vehicles I've ever seen in my life. But we have the SUV Interceptor. This is another part of the actual police department in Chattanooga. They just don't have the push bar and they don't have uh, license plate readers. Uh, everything else, though, would be the same. But I personally love the, inter or the uh, SUV Interceptor. Uh, I don't think my vehicle pack actually contains the other vehicle that they uh, use, which is the um, Ford Interceptor. Not this one, but the uh, car model of it. And I forget the uh, the model name, or the make name, but it's uh, Ford, and it, yeah, it's whatever. But our, my vehicle pack doesn't have it. I'm kind of upset it doesn't. I might go get one. I might go buy one and have him put another skin on it. But I personally I personally love this vehicle. It's, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And again, they don't have a lot of these lights that this one has but it is what it is. You get what you pay for. So this is the Raptor. This is going to be used for my uh, crash investigation units. Uh, the back is customizable. Everything about it is customizable. I freaking love it. It is one of the coolest trucks ever, in my opinion. They're expensive as hell, but I personally like it, and my crash investigative units or my, investigative, my crash investigators will be using it a lot. The, uh, the main Vic, this is what most of my patrol officers will be in when they graduate the academy through CPD. Um, on server, uh, they'll have, you know, the normal push bar because my department in the server will not have a no, <laughs> no pursuit law. We are definitely going to have a pursue uh, thing. I, I, I still can't believe that's not a thing in Chattanooga, and I, it just aggravates the shit out of me. But it is what it is. Um... As for anything else, though, I again, I just love the models. I love how sleek the skins look. 
I love how perfect the vehicles look. They're just amazing. And again, the pack is amazing. I just love it. There were like 15 models in the pack, and um, three were boats, of course, but, you know, they're just amazing models. So we're going to go see the heavy Chevy. This is, again, the traffic unit's truck. These are only my traffic investigator unit trucks. They don't go to any type of... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, these will not be used for uh, traffic enforcement. There you go. They will be used for traffic investigation and stuff like that. Because I, I have no idea why you would ever... I guess that would be kind of cool to pull someone over in. But, like, if they take off, like, <laughs> have fun going 0 to 60 in 80 minutes. But... So here's my detective truck for my detective units. These will only be for detective units as they do not have a skin... But they are very nice trucks. Uh, they're customizable in any shape or form or way my detectives want, as long as they do not have a light bar on top. Um, the Durango. <laughs> These are actually the vehicles that we will be getting here at Robbins Air Force Base, where I'm currently stationed for security forces. And these are the actual uh, models that we will be getting here soon. But for our department, not for Chattanooga. Chattanooga does not have the the funds i don't think to buy these or just don't want to but they're beautiful i love the durangos these are the uh ford i think ford i'm not sure maybe not ford no it's not ford it's uh dodge totally forgot about that dodge durangos they're amazing i love them that's like every vehicle i've ever said in this pack as i just love them but anyways so 18 Charger, which is another one of my uh, traffic enforcement vehicles that I'll have my guys being used. Uh, my Crown Vics will probably be the ones that are used the most. I'll let a few select uh, sergeants use the 18 Chargers as they're more of a supervised vehicle in my mind. But uh, most of the uh, patrolmen, senior patrolmen, stuff like that, most of the more seasoned guys will get the uh, 14 Charger, which I think is just as hot. And I am just like so freaking awesome i mean just look at it just makes you want to bust a nut so anyways here's the caprice this is mostly for, uh will mostly be for my canine units um i do not like the caprice whatsoever it looks really gross not the skins not the vehicle just the front it just looks gross to me i can't stand it i don't know why i will never be caught dead driving in that but anyways those are all the vehicles for um uh, my, or the CPD department, if I can freaking find it, where is it? There it is. I like, Crown Vicks are my thing. Um, but it's, again, just one of those things where the server is about to be launched once all the skins are in, which would hopefully be the end of this week or next week, and then we will hopefully have a thriving community and, uh, patrols every night, said items, um, other than that, actually, I forgot to show you guys this. For your patrol vehicles, a lot of people don't know this, and it gets them bit in the butt. Um, where is it? Let me just go ahead and do this. My call sign's 801, since I'm department head. It puts it on the back. It's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, so if this is your vehicle and you want to keep it your vehicle, and you don't want anyone being able to get into it and all that fun stuff, let's just back it up right here. What you can do is you can back out to this. Hit M on the server, it brings up your uh, player menu. You're going to go to Vehicle Related Options, Personal Vehicle, you're going to hit Enter, and it's going to set that vehicle to your personal vehicle. And then what you can also do is if you don't want to have to lock your vehicle all the time, you can just do Exclusive Driver, and that means no other players on the server can jump into your vehicle in the driver's seat and take off. So right now, see how I set it to my personal on the top left? When you close your personal vehicle, you can double tap E to lock or unlock it. So double tap to E, now my vehicle door is locked, so anytime I run back up or anyone runs up, they can't get in. It's pretty cool. So, say you have to run in and do some in-processing with someone, you pull them out of the vehicle and you come back in here to in-process them to do something or whatever, you know, you're going to have to, or you can lock your vehicle and not have to worry about anyone jumping in it and running. Now it's unlocked. So, it's one of those things where I personally enjoy it. Um, I don't think I have this set to mod menu. Yeah, it is maxed out um sometimes okay well that time he didn't but anyways uh that's pretty much the server at the moment it's more so 
it's still in development, and we're still trying to work on it, so. We hoped for a full release here this week, but fingers crossed it'll hopefully be sooner. But anyways, I really do appreciate your guys' time, cooperation, and most of all your dedication to seeing this succeed for those that are part of the Discord and have been working their tail off to see that we have a thriving community like we used to. Um, oh, also, last thing before we go is our vests are custom. So uh, there's four different types of vests. There's police, state, and uh, another two that I don't remember. But they have our specific departments and coloring on them. And then on the back, Chattanooga Police. So anytime you're on a traffic stop or anytime you're anywhere, you know, someone rolls up and they are wondering who you are. Uh, you can actually see the blue, the red, and the orange from a very far distance on these vests, so you pull up anywhere. And of course the uniforms are different, which I have to thank our developer for making these custom shirts that actually are Chattanooga Police Department. They're not... They're not center. That one's not. Eh, whatever. I'll take what I can get. But, uh, for customizing some stuff that makes this a little bit more realistic. So, the uniforms won't look like this, by the way. I just threw this together really quick. The pants look gray. That's weird. I'm sorry if that irritated some of y'all during this video. <laughs> but anyways, I again, I really do appreciate the support, the uh, the time that we have been putting into the server, and I appreciate everyone's kind words and remarks. So anyways, this will be the end of this episode, but uh, I appreciate y'all's patience and time.